Okay, we're going to take a very little look at weighting in Virtuoso. Um, now, weighting is an important part of automated testing. All automated testing platforms will have some need for weighting because essentially we're getting a computer to interact with our application, with our web page. And interacting at the speed of a computer will be much faster than a human being and the application may not be in a state where it's ready to take those interactions so quickly. So there is a need to wait. And Virtuoso does that in a few different ways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go from showing you the worst way to do weights to the best way to do weights in Virtuoso. Um, and that would be being more efficient, being more reliable, um, making your tests execute faster and cause you less issues. So we'll look at how to do those. So I've created a very simple journey here. And if we just run that, we can quickly see what's going on. We're going to our rocket shop. We're looking for an item. We're adding it to our bag. And then we're going to the shopping bag page by clicking on the shopping bag. Now, before we can do anything else with our application, we need to make sure that this page is ready to go for us to interact with. So one way we could do that is to add an explicit wait. So I'm going to add a new step here and I'm going to tell our system to wait. And I'm just going to say, 20 seconds. And if I save that, that will now wait 20 seconds for anything to happen. And you can see we're waiting for this step to pass. And the reason we don't like explicit waits is your test can do nothing until that 20 seconds is up. It doesn't matter what state the application is in, it can do nothing until that 20 seconds is up. And if I actually looked into my journey insights, you can see it's picked that up as an issue with my journey that we've got explicit weights in there. So it's something we want to avoid if possible. There may be occasions where our other weights aren't giving you the result you'd like and you fall back on an explicit weight, but it should be your absolute last result, not really something we want to be doing. So let's get rid of that out of our journey and let's do something more intelligent. And what we're gonna do is what we call a dynamic weight. So I'm gonna add another weight step and it's gonna look very similar to what we did before. But now instead of stopping at wait 20 seconds, I'm going to say wait 20 seconds for, and let's look for the word shopping bag. Okay, so we're going to be looking for this word shopping bag. Once that's there, we know our page is ready to go. Now how this is going to differ, and we'll watch our execution all the way through, is 20 seconds is now the maximum wait. But as soon as it finds what it's looking for, that word shopping bag, it will pass that wait step. So it's a maximum of 20 seconds, but it will stop as soon as that is complete. And there you go, you can see that completed very quickly here as we've gone through. So a dynamic wait is a much better way to wait for a specific element of a page. And that would be great if Virtuoso didn't have an even better way to do it. So I'm gonna delete that step and I'm gonna jump out and show you the better way that we're doing this. So I'm going to jump out to our project dashboard and I've got this little waiting project. That's what I've been working on here. And in there, I'm going to go to the settings and in the settings, in the interaction drop down, there's a few different things in here, but I want to focus on wait for network traffic. So this is um, a feature built into Virtuoso whereby you don't need to put wait steps into your application. Virtuoso has access to see what's happening in the network communication and it will wait until the network communication is at a stage where it's ready for interaction on the page. And that doesn't need you to put any dynamic or explicit weights in your system. Virtuoso will know what's going on. Okay. Um, now the default setting for that is just being changed over to enabled. Um, so the default setting will be enabled. So in the vast majority of your test scenarios, you shouldn't need to use those wait steps. But if you're doing things like cross browser testing, um, then we don't necessarily have access to the network traffic for that. So you might need to start putting some dynamic weights in. Um, and for certain applications, you might find that that behavior isn't quite as you'd like it to be. So that's why you can disable that if you'd like, um, if you need to for that journey and go back to using the other forms of weights that we talked about. Um, but the best way to progress is to use that network waiting uh, which you can enable at a goal level and the default for that will be enabled okay so it doesn't need you to do anything when you execute your journey it should be doing that automatic network waits for you so 
We've had a look at that so you know the different options available to you, but for the vast majority of cases, you don't need to concern yourself with the weights. Virtuoso will do that for you.